Terry Jones experience video. This time we are in week four, season four of the Toronto Mounties. Last game we lost again to the Cleveland Browns. We are 0 and 3. Let's take a look at some stats to show you kind of like where we're at as a team. I'm just going to compare them to the NFL. I think it would be better just compared to the NFL. We are third. Connor Coffey is third in yards. Now, if he didn't get injured, I fully, I truly believe he would have been, he would at least be second, if not first in that category. He also has... After we get past... All the 100 percenters. Apparently, he doesn't have a very good completion percentage. He has 66. Philip Rivers is a better one. But he, but Connor is Coffee is averaging the most yards per game, which is good. And his quarterback rating is actually pretty solid. Pretty good there. This is where okay, it's going to take me a while to find any, any bottom line roster. We see two Crusaders before we even get. We see three Crusaders before we even get to someone on our roster. I mean, this is, yeah, almost four before we get to Mike Davis. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do, get creative and figure out a way to do it. I'm gonna look at team stats as like as a whole. Total yards gained. The Crusaders are number one. I'm not surprised with that one. Buccaneers are second and our Toronto Monkeys are third. Played fourth game. It was a little, a little tough to compare. But I mean, we've already given up the most yards, and that's even with people playing a game already. Point. We were miles ahead of everyone else. Quarterback sacks. We're one of the worst teams. And I guess we're not really one of the worst. Nice in that category. Fumble recovery, we tied the first. Interceptions, we don't really miss the ball a whole lot. So. And third. We do well in the red zone, 90%. That's pretty good. But we also let people score every time we are in the red zone. Oh, we are at the bottom in regards to actual penalties given up. That's pretty good. Turnovers. I think we'll probably be at the Oh, negative one. We give we have been intercepted six times more than anyone. Oh, we've the ball over six times more than anyone. We have five interceptions and then we have a fumble loss. But takeaways, we have five. Four coming off a of fumble recovery. Our team's not bad. I definitely want to run the ball more. So that's the only thing I wish we would do more. Run the ball. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it after this video. But I am going to after this video. Mm, 
here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a playbook that I feel best utilizes our offense. Let's try it. Let's try Atlanta. No. Brian Flores is off the shot. And then if not, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, let's try it. Let's try the Doug Peterson Philadelphia Eagles. Then, or... They run a base. They so let's see if this works. Because if this works, then I can go ahead and just come up with a game plan that best suits the team. So let's let's get right into it. go right into a sim the way that we do this every episode slow sim sim to the end of the game so we can get so we can actually see this offense and defense in action smart move to take the touchback all right here's the rookie Connor coffee He's got 973 yards, six touchdowns, two interceptions. A lot better than what we were getting from Jacoby Brissett. All right, let's get this show on the road. First and ten. Need another passing play. Oh, nice! There we go. Nice catch. I think it's the Todd Penny, but all right, he's in there. Try Penny 15 yards for the first down. Down on the 40, so it's a first and 10 at the 40. Here we go. That's gonna be another screen pass. I'm tired of seeing all these screen passes. Rev gonna be a that's in it. Technically count as a six yard rush. Try Robert Foster sets up a second and four at the 46. See if we actually hand the ball off this ground. Nope, another screen pass gets right to the line. Great job, Let's see if they finish our offense. Offense hasn't changed. We've got, we still got the offensive line led by Russell Newman. We've got receiving core led by TD, Jake Butt, that right, our tight end. And then the running back duo of Mike Davis and Rashad Penny. So here we go, third and four. This is going to be 
another screen pass. It's going to be a penalty, and we are going to be short of the first down. Let's see what the what the flag is. Roughing the passer defense. Oh man, the Mounties caught a huge break on that one. So instead of being short of the first down with the penalty, they're going to get the ball first and ten at the 36. That's going to be another screen pass, but that's going to be a broken tackle. Almost a second one, but he's going to be brought down to the ground after an eight yard team setting up a second team. Two opportunities for the Mounties at the 28. First handoff of the game. And Penny breaks the tackle, but is able to get a beast. It's like a third and two here at the 27. So he, and, he did end up getting just a yard. Oh, we got a, we got a right receiver in slight motion. So we're going to run a little bit of his own. And that's going to be incomplete. So it's up a fourth down. Brings on Brian McManus and this this field goal unit. Let's see if we get see if we can get a point, a couple points here to start this start the game. That's going to be good. So we're going to be up three to nothing off our first drive. Woo! I will take it. I wish we would have gotten the touchdown, but I will take that as we get a... Ooh, there we go. Nice little tackle. Gets them short of the, of the 25. Led by Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's only thrown three completions all year. Wow. Here we go, first and ten. Oh, nice little jump off to. I think that's first. On perception. This is the defense. Because they got off the line set by the left tackle. They've got Willis Neen and Marquez Brown. They're running back there. Justice Hill and Mark Ingram still. We've got second and seven minutes. the point eight. It's going to be a handoff. And, you know, I thought utilizing Pete Carroll's system would help with the running game. But it looks like even... I know it's just the first run of the game, but that's nine yards. We got first and ten, another handoff. This time we're able to flood the lane and get the tackle. Let's see the catch on the team and on the tackle. Here's our defense. We've got a defensive line that's led by our defensive second next game. Linebacking core led by Ryan Kerrigan. And we've got a secondary that's led by Daryl Worley and Hedrick Thompson. So here we go, second and ten at the 35. Let's see what happens. I mean, they've got two wide receivers, two tight ends. Tight end going in slight motion. He's going to break a tackle from. He's going to break a tackle from Kerrigan. Not be able to break the second one, and he's going to be hurt on that tackle after gaining six yards. Worley coming in the corner, coming in with the stops. So the third and four at the 43. Let's see if. Oh, they're going to get the screen pass off. He's going to be able to outrun a defender, get the first down. After, I believe that was a seven yard game? Eight yard game. Oh, eight yard game. So they're at midfield. Let's see if this one can get us to get a stop here on first down. Alright, looks like they're going to play a little bit of man. Oh, nice tackle. Nice tackle. That's a three yard loss off the top of the to Ingram. I believe that was. That was Willis. Wilson coming in with the. Push him back even further. Sets up a second and very long 18 yards. Here we go. It's another completion. It's another completion that was completed to. Willie Sneed, did Willie Sneed have an, an X Factor? Yeah, Willie Sneed has an X Factor. How, how, I don't know. But Lamar Miller is back to throw again. He's got some time. He's going to find his running back. He's going to get rocked. 
just short of 30. When he turns 84, 4 for 37 now. That's insane. Yeah, second and four. It's probably going to be a handoff. It doesn't have that Nope. It's going to be a pass to a wide open receiver. It gets seven yards on the pass. If they didn't need, they need less than that. What the, to get the first down. That was Boykin coming in with a seven yard, seven yard game. Tight end in motion, which means it'll probably be a handoff. Yep. And he's going to break a couple tackles, and he's going to be gone. That's going to be a touchdown. Kerrigan a little too late on the tackle. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's the first rushing touchdown of the season for number 21, Raven. And look at that. Look at that play distribution. Five and five. That's solid. All right, wait. Two drives. One drive from both teams, a score from each team. We are down seven to three with just just about halfway through the quarter. A nice break tackle to get to the twenty-five. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. go first and 10 oh they got him to the 26 okay to the ground. Fourth and First and ten. See if we can get the stop. Nope. It's another twelve yards. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram is running all over the team. I swear every running every offense gets a shit ton of yards against us. It is unreal. Maybe it's because my guys can't tackle. Maybe I don't know. Let's see here, second and seven. Oh, man. Come on, we just got to get pressure on this quarterback. I'm telling you. Oh, Lamar Jackson with the keeper. A scrambling quarterback probably going to help him get towards that X factor. Okay, of his. Oh, this might be play action, this might be a run. I'm going to anticipate a play action pass here after the run, but nope, it's going to be a handoff. He's going to cut, just get, be able to cut to the outside. Takes up a solid five yards on that carry. Nope, it's another handoff. Ooh, no, they brought in the... Third stringer, Kyle White, who got him, who gets him, who gets 14 yards of his own. I swear, man. I maybe maybe it's just my guys don't have the awareness. I could maybe it's maybe it's an awareness thing. The 
they're going to just run. I have a feeling they're going to run all over me today. Oh, nice, nice stop. All right, this this might be the last play of the quarter. I am worried about that trip set up at the top. Oh, they're not going to get the playoff. That's going to be the end of the quarter with Baltimore beating our Toronto Mounties 7-3. to three. Ooh, throwing that ball away. Nice. Causing the incompletion. There we go. Third and goal. We might we might see them hand this ball off. No, they're gonna trust them on the his arm. He's gonna find his he's gonna find his head end. This could be a flag on the play. Is he gonna be holding? Locking the passer? Are you kidding me? Oh God sees. That's this, dude. Let's go, Come on. 56, the mark, boys. 56. Check. 56. Not only are they at the one now. Oh, man. Now he's going to rush in for the score. And they're down. Now they're up 13 to 3, awaiting this point after. We'll probably get to, four, we'll probably get to 14 with this kick because it is up. And good. We're down 11. 17 seconds into the second quarter. He's going to kneel it. There we go. All right, let's see if we run the ball. Probably not, but one can only hope. Nope. Oh, no. I don't know if that's Coffee's fault or if the receiver just gave up on that, but... That could have been a, that could have been the first down. Robert Foster gets no yards, and that counts as a rush. So there's a strong possibility they might end up being a, depending on all the screens that he's thrown. Okay, is that two three yards? Right, fourth down. We have cleared up. We have not taken down any clock. That was maybe a minute and a half. And I feel like I'm being generous giving giving up my team a minute and a half on the field. Ooh. Barely gets the tackle. Barely gets the tackle. So that's about the second and four at the 47 here. They've got a interesting formation. Lawrence Jackson's got all the time in the world. Finds, finds an open guy, but he's going to throw him incomplete. I think Lamar Jackson only had three incompletions coming into this game. And he's already got two in the game. Oh, just gets the throw off in time. Does not complete the pass. Fourth and four. Defense comes up with the stop. And they're going to bring on their unit. Now let's see if we can get this ball at the 20. Oh, they're going to... He's going to shank it down to... Out of bounds to the 26-yard line. I, the six. I mean, I need a... That's 28. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be a handoff. Except, it's past the Jake, but down to the 40, down to the 30, gets tackled just short of the 20, down to the 21 on, yard line. Go. There we go. Here we go. Empty backfield, first and 10 of the 21. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, nice throw again to Jake Butt. Jake Butt's going to break a couple tackles, get all the way down to the three. Three yard line. He's 30 seconds of the game. Coffee is just uh, swinging this ball. He was just swinging the ball. Let's see. Oh, we're actually going to hand off to the top pennies. He's going to run in for the touchdown, giving us a, giving us six points, getting us to a 14 to nine game with the point after still to be kicked. 
I'm glad they actually decided to run the ball. But, I mean, I just wish they did it a little bit consistently. And I know, I, I know I've invested a lot of capital in my quarterback, but that... I don't know, maybe I need to, you know, find an offensive playbook that I think really works with the offense. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, there you go. It's going to be a drop play. Nope. 56. Check 56. Oh, nice little, 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 this is not looking too. Ooh, one of my def one of my defenders over me. Man, here we go. Oh, there's the handoff. There's the hole. Breaks the tackle. Doesn't can't break the second one. And Brian Ashley is hurt. That's our starting middle linebacker, which then means we're gonna get to see. A lot of our one of our season pickups, Knowles. Knowles coming, gonna come in out of nowhere and get that tackle. He's up a third and two here at the 43 yard line. Ooh, nice. Oh, but that's gonna be some face mask penalty. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I don't, I didn't, I personally didn't see a face mask, but, I mean, let's go, let's go, let's go. guess he played it. Oh, nice stop. Actually, you end up losing a yard on the first, it's in the second and yeah, eleven. That was a nice pass at 48. So, then Jenkins, he's trying to redeem himself after giving 15 yards and get it, allowing them to get the first down. Dude, that's gonna be a completion for someone. Yep. Ooh, that's a fumble. That's gonna get picked up. That's Jordan Jenkins coming in with the with the fumble recovery. Roughing the passer. Oh. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. That was it. That was it. Well, at least we're stopping the run. The last couple plays, at least. Ooh, we're going with that. Going with that. Going with that. Thank you. Ooh. Nice tackle. There we go. Third down. This is going to have to be a conclusion. Oh, no. He's going to run. He's going to get... At the line of scrimmage, they're going to give Freeman a sack on the play. So it's a fourth down. Shield unit, it's on the field. They're going to try to extend their lead to seven points. It's just under half. Just a little over half of the quarter left to play. All right. Defense is, doing, defense is playing pretty well. I mean, 17 points and a half is a lot. But it, that could that number could have easily been 24. I mean, that could have been 28 realistically. So it should have been low. It should be lower. But you gotta take you gotta take the, the small victories when you can get them. We go first and ten at the 26. Another screen pass. That one that one is good for three yards, but another. Why was he just screaming? Oh man. We go third and seven. Here we go. He's got butt wide open. But then he also has Robert Foster in the middle of the field open for it first. All right, here we go. First and ten. It's a forty-four. 
play action pass, roll a rollout play action. Oh, just dude, just throw the ball away. You're out of you're out of the pocket. You could have gotten away with that. Alright. Let's see here. Second and twenty one at the thirty three. That's a, a huge amount of a, a large amount of yards to lose. Ooh, nice. Finally calling a run play, but not getting anything off of it. Rashad, Rashad yeah, Rashad Penny is getting half a yard. Half a yard per carry. Ooh. You see, we're going to North the top. Ooh, nice. Oh, is he going to get the first? Penny gets. Oh, then he gets injured. It looks like he just has the wind knocked out of him. Well, that's a nice game. Hope, hopefully he's not in, he's not like super injured, but man. Oh, there we go. There you go, Mike Davis, getting four yards. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was good. I thought that was. I thought that was it. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that they're throwing the ball deep at least. I mean, you know, get, creating the threat. Nope. Oh, avoids the tackle. Oh, avoids a bunch of defenders. Gets down to the 15, the 10, just out of bounds at the eight yard line. Talk about turning something, turning something out of getting something out of nothing. That was a nice play there by Davis. Sets up a first and 10 at the eight. That's a 33 yard reception there. And they're gonna reward him with a, they're gonna reward Madison with a carry, but he's gonna get negative five yards. Oof. Oof, second and goal to 13. Here we go, let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, they're gonna put Mads Madison out in motion. And they're gonna throw it to him. Well, that's gonna be a catch. But let's see what the let's see what the flag is. Roughing the passer. That might just be. They might just take the touchdown. And they do. That is a touchdown to our run, our third string running back Madison. And we are gonna with this point after hopefully be tied 17 to 17. So this kick is up, and it's good. We've got just. We got just past the two minute warning, so we got a minute and 53 seconds left. Let's see if our, let's see if this mountain defense can get a stop, you know, and hopefully give our offense just one last shot before halftime. Maybe try to get a lead as that return's not going to get to the 25. He probably should have melted it, melted it and take it out to 25. But I mean, I'm not going to complain about them getting those legs yards in the show. But uh, with this, with this offense, this Ravens offense and man, they are explosive. Ooh, roughing the passer, holding. There we go. It's about time we get a we get a, a non roughing the passer or face mask penalty on here. Damn. Here we go. First and twenty now. Oh, and looks like they got all the yards back on that one play. But Boykin hurts on that tackle. Dude, what's up, Sparrow? It is a it is a close game. Here we go, second and ten off the off the completion. Lamar Jackson's gonna run, and he's gonna get nine on that carry. Sets up a third and one scenario here at the thirty-one yard line with a minute and twenty-one left. Jackson's got time. He's gonna just take off and run. He's gonna get a first down. He's gonna get more than a first down. Get all the way to the forty-eight yard line. That is fifth. Yards. Here we go. First and ten. Nice tackle. Open field. Well, that's gonna be a timeout from the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, it's a, it's it's been a close game. Baltimore at at one point was up eleven, so they were up fourteen to. It was fourteen to three, but. On back-to-back -back drives, we were able to drive down the field for, for a couple touchdowns. Got a couple, we got a couple stops along the way, but they've got 12 seconds left. This might be the, the second-to-last play. Mario is going to throw to Mark Ingram. 
and they're going to call a timeout, bring on the field goal unit to try to give them a 20 to 17 lead going into halftime. Uh, yeah, I uh, changed the playbooks again. Um, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find that right balance. I. Um, On deep, I hold on. All right, it's welcome, welcome to the chat. Let's say hi to everyone, Sparrow. Are we not connected? Are we not connected? Hold on. Let me try to fix this. So that's half time. Let's see if I can get past this real quick. Hold on. Hey, Sparrow, can you hear me? Okay. So what's up, man? How you doing? Dude. It'll be interesting, man. What do you what do you what are you thinking? So what are you thinking? Oh, I can, if if you if you're worried about starting a franchise like that, like I can try, I I'd have to see if I can get a the online feature to work. But I know how to set it up at least on the at least, at least on the offline on the offline situation. So just just trying to get the online stuff taken care of. Like I think once I figure that out, I can set everything else up like no problem. Really? Like, were you setting the settings to get to, like, the two expansion teams? And it wasn't letting you pick your expansion teams? Or, oh, fumble. Ooh. Oh, man, it's a fumble. Boykin picks it up, and he's going to go all the way for the touchdown. And Baltimore's going to be go come up. Oh, that's weird. Did you uh, did you click start in off season or start in regular season? Okay. Maybe it's maybe it's just the glitch. I mean, the game just I mean, two K just came out. Um, I know with two I know with two K nineteen when it first came out, they were having you know they were having franchise issues as well. But I mean, for as great as the as the franchise mode is in 2K, it's it all, it's also one of the more overlooked features in the game. Yeah, like the franchise hasn't really seen a lot of gotten a lot of overhaul since I would say 2K17, 2K16. Oh man, and that is Uzuma with the drop, sets up a third and six. Dude, my rookie quarterback's looking pretty good, but at the same time, like, I might just go out and just draft another quarterback in the first, if I, if it. yeah man. And then you, and then see who, just to see who's better, create some competition, and then whoever is the, whoever is the better quarterback, I can put the other one on the block. And get a hefty return because it seems like everybody in in Madden needs a quarterback. No, I never gave up. My rookie quarterback was a first rounder. 
Yeah. Yeah, but then I'll probably recoup the first round pick. Dude, Lamar Jackson's no joke in this franchise, dude. Oh man, breaking tackles. Oh, that's he's gone. He's gone. And just like that, just like that, you're down 33 to 17. Away in the point after. It was just 20 to 17. With like, at the start of the quarter. And in less than three minutes, they have gone and scored the ball twice. But I don't know, man. Maybe what I need to do is. Blow, the, blow up the team again. Ready, ready. You know, three. fire my head coach. Look at what, maybe like take a look at what my quarterback's good at now. Like what his trade is and find an offense that, you know, is kind of centered around coffee. And then just, you know, fill out a roster that best, that best fits. Oh, Kiki Cootie is out. I'd have, I'd have to check. It'd be, it would be a hefty, hefty cap hit. Just throw the ball away. What are you doing? He's fucking dancing out. He's fucking dancing out here instead of throwing the ball away. He rolls out of the pocket and then starts doing like the fucking moonwalk. Like I don't want I don't want to see Michael Jackson in Thriller. Like I can I can YouTube that. I don't need to see it in Madden. So, but dude, I'm def I'm definitely down to do a expansion fran a expansion franchise in 2K. I think I'm I but just in all honesty, I might have to wait until like I get settled up up north before starting it. Just just cause like I have. I still have the mat. I still have our our Madden stream, and I don't play a whole lot as it is. So adding a second stream right now probably wouldn't be the best idea. Yeah. And you know what? I I'll look at it this way. I've been playing 2K since 2K11, like consistently. So, yeah. I've been more. I've been playing basketball games more than any, more than any of the other ones. Just because, like, yeah, gameplay. Oh no, a fumble! And that's gonna get picked up by Baltimore. Rashad Penny's trying to do too much with the limited touches that he gets, and he fumbles that ball. Ooh. Yeah. So I've been playing 2K. I've been playing 2K since 2K11. So, like, I would have a un. I would have a little bit of an unfair advantage. Oh, interception. There we go. Getting the ball right back. That is going to be Wilson coming up with the interception. Sets up a first and 10 at the 46. So we are trading turnovers just at this early here in the third quarter. We get a play action pass by Coffee. Oh, he's going to catch it. That's going to be Robert Foster getting down to the 20. To the 5th. And he's going to get tackled out at the 10. No, that, that wasn't even Foster. That was, I think that's Tate. I think that's, that was Tate. Alright, coffee, coffee going out. Ooh, he's going to get the screen pass to Penny. Penny's going to go to the outside, break a tackle, and that's going to be a touchdown. Rashad Penny, his second touchdown of the game, and that is going to bring us to with, that is going to bring us to within 10 with this point after. There we go. Hey, have you ever, have you ever noticed like sometimes when you're playing Madden, like, There'll be like, like, uh, like a random like icon that like will drop down from the, like in the crowd. Yeah, like I was like I was playing right now, and like before they went to go kick the point after, like a little like um, it looked like a heart dropped from the side. 
That's weird. So. Ooh, nice tackle. Nice tackle. Second and ten. It's going to be a handoff to Ingram. Ingram's going to Uh huh. Really? Okay. Uh huh. Y yeah. Okay. So you need to hit circle. And that should take. Okay, so you, if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember like for 2K19. So it looks like you're on the main menu, right? Where you can go to check like, schedule, stats, all that. But there should be, so you should be able to hit circle, and that's like essentially like the back button. As Lamar Miller throws a bomb to Willie Sneed, and Sneed's gonna get down. Oh no, Marquise Brown. Sorry, down to the five. Front office and lead management. Hmm. I mean, that doesn't sound like something. Usually, okay. I've been touched, but from 2K19, for example, like once you got through settings, you know, set up how many expansion, like how many uh, expansion teams you wanted, like what the you wanted the like, city and all that for the expansion franchise and everything like it would take you to like your off-season page even if you're starting in the regular season it would take you to an off-season page where the only task would be to do the relocation draft let's go let's go let's go okay and you so you've already set up, you you essentially, it sounds like you've already set up the league. But you're just trying to do that draft. Okay. Um, hold on. Ooh. Coffee started this, dude, my, my quarterback started 10 of 13. He's now 12 of 28. Oh, nice. Foot down to the 30. Robert Foster is gone. That is a touchdown. And just like that, we that is a 75-yard touchdown. And just like that, we are getting back to within 10 for giving up the long touchdown to Marquise Brown. There we go. Um... So you, can you like propose trades? Can you go to like a proposed trade and all that? Yeah. Let's go, baby. That's odd. You should be able to. Try doing it with just preset expansion team. Maybe it, it, it. Are you using downloaded content? Downloadable content? Okay. Ooh, that's a pitch play. Here we go. Nice. It's gonna be a one yard loss for Mark Ingram. Sets up a second and 16. Dude, my team's already given up 41 points. And we're like, not even. We're just getting midway through the, thir the third quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Dude, you know Lamar Jackson going into this game only had three incompletions all season?
Like he was at like a ninety, like a ninety something percent completion percentage. I, I mean that's I mean I hate to say it but for two K that's a little norm that's normal. Yeah, at, at least for like the first couple weeks when you do when you go and do like online stuff like even like the my part tends to. Act what? Yeah, but like. But try to see. We'll see if you can set up a regular, online franchise. Uh my team or team Roswell would be would have been a legit spot too though. Well, I mean, if it's like, if it's from the community, the community can can make whatever they want. Yeah. I don't know what I haven't looked into what issues like 2K20 currently has at at launch, but I know for 2K19 there were a couple of bugs that they had to fix retroact like after it after launch. Yeah, but like apparently like there's like a bunch of people that did like 24-hour streams. And like, they, um, what was I trying to say? Like, like people were dropping like mad money into it, like midstream. No, like, like the streamers like dropping like their money into like either making them my team or no. And, and you'll, and. Ooh, Tremaine Johnson with the block of the point after. And that's going to be a blocked point after by Tremaine Johnson. There we go. So we are only down 16 with 22 seconds left in the third. Dude, this is... I don't know if it's like my... I don't know if it's just like I need to like do something with my defense or if like... Like I'm strongly considering like blowing up the roster. I mean, like, like I said, I'm not even out. I'm not even out of the third quarter, and I've given up 47 points. Granted, I've scored 31. I've scored 31 points, but my defense has also given up 47. And I think, I honestly think that because I end up getting like behind by so much that that's why my team tends to throw the ball more because like because like at a certain point I mean we had a decent like it was like it was like a 15-7 split which I'm okay with doing a 2-1 a two for one kind of thing but now it's like that's like coffee's 30 second pass I mean, you only have 10 rushes like as a team uh what's his what's his contract Let's 
it's not bad with his overall. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, I mean, it could be worse. Uh, check the potential. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to be mindful of their age. Because it. Because Igu I was going to say, Igadal is 38. Oh, Sheik Diallo. Diallo, yeah. He was, a sec he was a second round pick in the 2016 draft. Yeah. But I think he's also on a team that has a bunch of like good players. Yeah. How many? Oh, what is Josh Jones doing? Was that? Was that? I don't, one of my safeties decided he didn't want to scoot back and let a ball go right over his head to a receiver for a touchdown. But yeah, dude, I'm down 54 to 31. And I literally started this half. Down, only down three, twenty to seventeen. It's bad, but this is what like it gets to like I will every game so far, except for the except for the one that I lost to the Buccaneers. Like it's always been like I get down by a lot, and so my op so I end up throwing the ball a lot. Only difference being I actually have a viable quarterback this year. About like my my team like my Madden team. I mean, I've got I've got some pieces, but then like I feel like it could be better. Maybe I need to go to a coach that's a little more in the three four. But I think I think what I'm gonna do. So I'm not gonna re-sign anyone else because I have the the off-season re-signing period. I don't. I think I'm not gonna re-sign anyone else. And then once we get, I'm gonna create a game plan, like create a legit game plan, and then you know try out the rest of the season. If not, if I don't see like the proper like the improvement that I'm looking for, I'll blow it up find an offense find figure out what offense would work best with what um coffee's current you know scheme is and then on offense just go with that i mean you were th you were close to doing the same thing with with your team so and i don't and i on the offensive side of the ball I don't think I would take too much of a hit, but and I don't even necessarily think my offense is the issue. I think it's my deep. It's uh, it looks like it's more my defense than my offense. Although now we're at four passes for every rush for every running attempt. Ooh, deep. Are you are you looking at the Hawks? Yeah, Vince Carter. Yeah, yeah, Vince Carter signed uh, another one-year deal with the Hawks. Yeah, and then Thabo Cephalosha. Team NBA teams always look for a guard that can play defense.
Who's on your team so far? I don't think I would have picked up Tyler Johnson just because that contract is huge. But then again, so is Steven Adams' contract. Yeah. Did you look at Steven Adams? Whenever I do an expansion draft, I always tend to go with a younger guy. Like I don't I don't like I don't like drafting veterans. Yeah. I agree. But the, but the way that 2K values, um, oh dude, I just got a rough in the kicker call. Are you kidding me? Oh, but yeah. So the way that, just so you know, the way that 2K values like younger guys on a, like in the league, like they end up having more trade value than like veterans. And then, uh, how many players did you allow teams to restrict, to have restriction on? Yeah, when I do it, I always end up putting like 12. Yeah. Yeah. It gives it a little more of a challenge. You know, because if, if you can get guys, if you can get like an 80, if, if you get like an 80 plus overall and like Steven Adams and you can get an 80 plus overall and you know a couple of some of the other guys like it doesn't become a it's still it's still a challenge but it's not like as daunting as it is when you're doing it like where your best player where you, the best player you draft is like a 74 overall no you get 13 you get 13 because 13 is the minimum you need to have on the roster. Damn, dude. 63 to 31. So you can put, so what you do is you put guys, you, it's similar to Madden. You put a guy on the trading block and then over over the course of the season, um, teams will offer you um, trades for that player. Oh no, no, that's, that's your, uh, it's like trade desires or something like that. That's different, that's different than the trade block. Okay, so untouchables are the guys on your roster currently that you're not going to trade no matter what. Trade block is guys that you're looking to get rid of, and those will be guys that you get you get offers for periodically over the course of the season. Trade targets are the guys that you're looking to acquire. So if a so if a franchise is looking to get rid of one of your one of the guys that you're that's on your quote unquote target list it becomes a little bit easier for you to acquire or if they're not looking to trade that guy and he's on and he's on that list you can it'll be more difficult so 
What I recommend doing is before you start looking to, if I don't know if you're gonna actually look to make trades, but if you're looking to make a trade, go to the team intel and look for teams that are re either rebuilding or selling. Team Intel. Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like, if you're looking, okay, so there's going to be four different options you could see for a team. If a team's contending, you're not going to, you're not going to be able to do very much with, in regards to a trade. If you, if, if someone's buying, they're more inclined to go after like a veteran or two that'll like put, put them over the edge. So you'll be more inclined to get draft compensation and prospects from them for a player. Yeah, like if you wanted to trade, I mean, we'll use Steven Adams for an example. Like, you can probably go to the Mavericks, at, request a couple of firsts and like a decent player, and they'll probably accept it. And then I would also look to see like what teams are like trying to acquire. Cause if they're looking to acquire like a guy that you have on your roster currently, they'll be more inclined to offer you more. They'll be inclined to offer you more than what a team normally would. If they're sellers, if they're sellers, you'll be able to like have better chances of acquiring like their better players if we throw prospects and draft picks. So like in one game, It's, it, it is early in the season, so, like, if you simulate, like, I don't know, to the end of November, you'll probably start to see more and more sellers come up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's NBA scouting and there's uh, prospect scouting. So you can actually scout other teams and like, like see like who's hot and who's like not. Like you can look at other other players like overalls and tendencies and stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretty in depth. Oh, you, dude, you can fire your staff and hire a new staff. They, when you create an expansion franchise, they give you just like random dudes. 
dude, you're an expansion franchise, man. Yeah, dude, my offense put up 40, my offense put up 45 points. But Baltimore put up 64. It's bad. Yeah. I finished. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is create a game plan. Create a game plan, go through the rest of the season, and then at the end of the season, decide if I'm going to keep my coach or not. And if I'm not, figure out what the best scheme would be for uh, coffee and then build around him. Yeah. Dude, the craziest thing happened. So I upgraded, so Quincy, Quincy Wilson, he's my best corner, 77 over, it was a 77 overall, 77 in man and 77 in slot. Tell me why when I went to go improve slot by one, he like gained two levels in man coverage, in man to man. Okay. 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 I hit advance on my end. Oh, and four. How much you want to bet that I'm already like in line for the first overall pick? <laughs> Dude, maybe it's because we're playing on all pro. Maybe we need to drop it down. Dude, at least you have a win, dude. Fuck. I... So now I have a problem. So one of my starters is hurt. And that means it puts it puts me at six. So I need to adjust accordingly. So I think what I'm going to do Can't, I can't drop Kiki Cutie. Can't drop Coffee. I'm not gonna drop Quincy Wilson. Agile? Ag Agile. No. I mean, technically, they're the same, but technically power outweighs that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna bring, I'm just gonna put Ben Humphreys, put a gosset, so that way I can keep my, my rookie, my rookie guard in the game. And that, and I mean, not, nothing else I can really do. So. Okay. It's 
Have... No. I need a field general and he's a run stopper. his field general to one by one and then it, it increased his run stopper by one I'm not getting any what no no way Guess who's number one in the NFL in passing yards? Yeah. Dude, it's not even close. Lamar Jackson Lamar Jackson's second in passing yards with eleven hundred and fifty seven. I'm telling you, man. Fifteen hundred passing yards. I've yeah, but I've only thrown five more passes than you, than Kyler Murray, and Coffee was out for like a half. To yeah. Wait, you say he doesn't throw the ball too much? That much? He's second in the league. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, because he has one more completion and five less attempts. But I've got 11, my dude's got 11 touchdowns and two interceptions. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, he, um, for as good as my passing yards are, you have like four dudes that are ahead of my number one running back in rushing yards. Of my number one, my leading rusher, you have four guys, you're, you have four guys, so three running backs and Kyler Murray that are ahead of my number, my leading rusher. I need to come up, I need to come up with game. Like, yeah. yeah, he's also like one of my top running, my top rushers. I'm not flying out tomorrow. That's I dude, I fly out next Friday. That's that's why I can't that's why I can't have a going away thing after work on Friday. Yeah, no, that's next Saturday. But I'm flying but I'm flying up. Friday night, so that way I'm actually in bed in time. Because it was either catch, it was either catch a 7:55 flight up there, or catch a six o'clock flight and then potentially be late to the lease signing. So. Okay. 
because I have fully scouted. Yeah. It's funny how that works out, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Alright, bud. Dude, how are you feeling? 